chapter we're going to create a cartoon eye and while not realistic there are still some things we can do modeling and shading wise to give some life to our eye so we'll start with a U with an uh, US sphere 32 by 32 is okay we have enough polygons there to play with so we have got our glow eye our cornea as well and the same shape we're going to use for the cornea we're going to use it for the iris as well so we see where we want to cut maybe there is okay and now we're going to use the rip tool which is the V shortcut the hotkey so this like a, a lot of other tools in Blender this tool depends on the position of the cursor where the cursor is when we hit the shortcut which is V so you have to take care of that so in this case I got it on the left side so I just press V on the left side and Blender will cut to that uh, direction so now I just select this because it's an island so I just click L and now I have selected we said we are going to use the same shape so I just duplicate it with shift D and now rotate it 180 degrees uh, 180 and it's done so for the pupil we are going to use exactly the same shape which is more flat so we just duplicate it then scale on the Y axis then press 0 and that's it now we got our flat pupil so with these three shapes we can already start building our eye so we'll take the what's going to be our iris and we'll try to snap it to the first ring of the the first uh, loop the first ring of vertices there we could do it by just looking at it but it will take a lot of time so there is a, a nice tool which is called snap is a gif tab as well so uh, if you hold control with this option turn on you will see a little circle on the vertices where your cursor is so that means the blender will snap our selection to that vertice but still you can see that here you still got this really sharp edge there this is because there are uh, overlapping vertices there there's an option to fix that which is called auto merge editing in which if we re we redo the same operation but with this option enabled as you can see we do the same hold control click and now blender will uh, automatically remove the overlapping vertices will merge our overlapping vertices recalculate normals there because previously I had inverted these faces so now it looks much more nice so this is the shape we want for blender to calculate a little bright side a specular bright on our eye that's why we want it to be a little bit curved like to the inside so I just move the pupil to the inside nice yeah even that right is there so we just need to close this eye but we don't want to use auto merge editing here I'm going to disable it otherwise we'll have uh, internal faces and that could lead to really ugly shading problems but that's okay for now so let's put it there and uh, as a last step we're going to give some more uh, volume to this cornea, some a little bit more uh, bevel. So just move it out a little bit, then extrude the ring there, and that's it. Much better. So now we can just move to shading.